Hey there everyone, Meocity here. Welcome back. Today we're continuing on with our modded file in Darkest Dungeon, going on a medium adventure in the Weald, trying to get this caregiver's ring so we can do a little better healing with our Lamia set. Kinda like using a better stress healing and it should also give us the last of the deeds we need to upgrade the armorsmith I'm hoping. So I'm gonna be testing out kind of a bleed team while also trying out this person, the Antiquanarian. Antiquarian? However you want to pronounce that. I'm very bad with names. I think y'all know this by now. <laughs> Just so we can get some extra money flowing in so we can lock in some extra skills. Kind of losing my voice here a little bit. Allergies are getting a little bad, so voice might go in and out during the video. Sorry about that, but so we can get some quirks locked in and so we can get some money for the blueprint stuff that we want that's going to be coming in pretty soon. So that being said, let's get to it. Just gonna pick up the usual stuff here for the wield, and off we go. I've never seen this message before. I wonder if that's new or if that is just from a patch. Beware the mark of death that the fungal artillery can put on you. It tells their fungal zombie brethren what to kill. Excise the fungal tumors, and the land may yet live. Alright, so the goal is to activate three of the infected corpses. So that means we probably will have to go down this little sneeze down there. Just to check for the corpses, make sure there's none of them down there. Um, is it anti-venom for this one? Yes. Might as well get all of this down where it needs to be so I can actually use it when I need to. Lovingly admired. All stuff that can transform. So we are kind of using a bleed team here, but I am going to try to take out these imagos first. We are going to blight. And I think that also lowers blight resistance. Let's bleed these two. So that one's going to die on its turn, We so we don't need the Iron Swan. Bleed out would make our damage go down. I've never been good with the Hellion, so I need to figure this out really quick. If it bleeds, does less damage, and less damage over time, but we keep our speed and our damage. So let's go for that and go for that infected, infected Imago. We won't need to do that anymore. We just need to go at the ectoplasm before it uh, creates too many more other ectoplasms. So let's go at this one. Now if it bleeds on this one, lighting it. Like I said, we're not iron swanning this one because it's going to die on its turn. Oh, lovely. Just taking those out as they come. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own going to bleed her, this thing. It's a good little bleed we got there. With the flagellant, we're just going to keep bleeding. If it bleeds again, actually hit. Wow. And then she can actually heal. We're going to be doing that. Now this turn, I'm going to do what I can to heal because it's going to die on its turn. do this and then it dies all right we got a rare antique good bit of gold and then let's head down because i don't want to go back through all of this to get back to this little spot if there is a quest location and since that's not doing too much for us right now let's blight them so i can get at the madman once again, blighting the madman. I want him gone first. Rain of Sorrows. He's losing 12 a turn now. I think I can leave him alone now and just, if it bleeds, the Imago. As the fiend falls, now that thing won't summon more. Let's put this on him, he dies. 
The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. No, he can't heal himself, but he can heal her. Plague Doctor then can heal him on his turn. We're going... How's their blight resistance? Let's go for it. Once again, bleeding. Okay, we are gonna need to do some stuff to him. So Battlefield Medicine, now he's at least not blighted. And he's gonna put this on her. Counteracting that bleed for now, or blight rather. Bleeding the fungal grabber, it's gonna die. We're going to heal our flagellant. Even though I know he get, has a better heal, if he gets a little bit lower, I'd rather not use it if I don't have to. Gently. This All right, life. let's take him out. Probably should get rid of that bleed, but... Three around. Let's do this. And then we're going to heal him. Getting rid of the bleed. Bleed out. Continue the onslaught. Destroy. And more antiques. Kind of a dynamic I'm not too used to, so I'm probably gonna flub this up quite a bit. Alright, what's down in the final room? We're on the way too. Alright, well. We got the group to take them out. <laughs> now, there is something I should check about the flagellant really quick on his next turn. We're not going to blight them, so I'm just going to do this, because if I do even two damage, it was going to die. Okay, he does need to be in the front row for that. We are going to Iron Swarm with this. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, incisioning, stabbing. <laughs> Give them no quarter. No one really needs the heal, so we're just gonna whack it. And there we go. I'll take what I get. At least promises success. Well, there's a coffin. Not exactly what I wanted, but it's something. Alright, so unfortunately, I do think that I want to take out the ectoplasm first because if I take out these things, this is just going to make more ectoplasms. What I could do is kind of get started on them with a light blight. While I wail on him with uh, the bigger things, I'm just going to use If It Bleeds so we don't get the damage down on the Hellion. I don't want, like, round two, three, and possibly four for her to have a damage down. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Alright, how much? 11 and he has 17 left. So the Hellion or the Plague Doctor can probably take that out while I damage these two. Yeah, the Hellion can definitely do that. He's gonna bleed out. Now we're gonna do these two. That battery dies on its next turn. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade. Brings him in range for everything else. And it's not escaping anything, so we're just going to stab. It dies on its next turn from the bleed. Getting rid of the blight. We should probably heal while we can. I'm going to leave the flagellant lower, so let's go at the plague doctor. 
and he can do this. And with that bleed on him, he may actually get down to the point where he can use uh, Redeem. Where I can do this. Compassion. Just wait for it in a fight. Fever picture of battle. And no one else really needs to heal, so. Unfortunately, there was no quest item down there, but I forgot that was a thing. Here we go. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's lower its accuracy if we can. All right, we definitely got that bleed resistance down. That's good. We're bleeding it. The ground quakes. Oof. It resisted the bleed. It's got three attacks around. Youch. Okay, what, what do we got at our disposal here? That flash powder did not last for long enough. But what I can do is a state token. Then we're gonna dunk him out with more bleed. I don't think I need to redeem right now, so we're just going to try to keep hitting him. Ow. Okay, he's got six for two rounds, and he's at 60 soul, of course. We're good for one more round on the Anquin Anquinarian, however you want to pronounce that. I could redeem or we can go for more damage. One more turn, he's going to be at one. I can bandage him. We'll get rid of that stress for now. Resisted that again. Yeah, we're, we're fine then. Bleeding again. As long as we hit, I stay and jinx myself. Next turn, it gets it dies. So, we're gonna use that to heal. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Probably should have put the torch down, but nonetheless, multiple. Wing Feather, plus 10 dodge is something, otherwise just a bunch of money. Let's bandage again, and be on our way. Probably should camp, to be honest, get stressed down, but we'll do that once we get to this the intersection. I know there's a battle right there that's probably going to be bad for us, but... <laughs> Why is it the bleeding tree? I know it's the hanging tree, but the tree bleeds. Alright, let's lower its accuracy. And just pile as much bleed on this thing as we can. Yay, it missed. A singular strike. Well, 11 damage. <laughs> Person we didn't want to get that. I wonder if this would fix it. Well, too late to test it. And sometimes find I'm gonna have to deal with that all. At least he did what I wanted him to. You know what? <laughs> Alright, well, got that part. Our Forsaken. That was something else I wanted. And now I don't see the point in camping. That was the whole reason I was going to. 
I know we're a little low on health, but that's something that we can heal through. Alright, what's the selfish bracelet? Damage, crit, minus healing skills. Let's get rid of the blood for that. I haven't really used Lamia for damaging. That might be an interesting one. Beyond measure. You know I'm going to change something out for that. I just don't know what yet. I think I have enough of these stuns. Don't no citrine. And I actually got the citrine on the first try. I think that's worth mentioning. <laughs> Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. All right. And we didn't get a scout, so let's go down, because otherwise I'm going to have to come back for it, and you all know it. Well. A handsome reward for a task well Ah, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the stun stone this time for that. Fighters? Well... We gotta get rid of the ectoplasms first. As much as I don't like the spiders. Four and four. So, if I blight them, they die. If I blight them, they die. <laughs> Alright, now we can get rid of the glass. Yeah, that, that'll most likely do it. Then I can have the flagellant heal. Probably can have everyone heal while I have the... Hellion just focus on damage? I think that sounds like a plan. The Flagellant doesn't have too much bleeding damage on him right now, so... We'll get rid of that while we can. Make sure that doesn't overwhelm us. We're going to fortifying vapors. Getting... probably... me. Her. A little higher on health. And of course, there's some more bleed damage, but that's fine. Since this is pretty much all we can do, and we'll get it next turn. We're gonna heal her this time. Resisted the bleed, so now we can heal her. Getting rid of that bleed. We're going to three. So that's only gonna be nine, so let's heal her a little more. Ouch. That's gonna be another bleed. Not be left unanswered. And that's our spider down. Alright, so we'll take that, we're gonna take that. Push on. Let's just use that while we can. There's a bandage. Don't think this can do anything with any of our curios. Just to double check. No, oh, I forgot about that. Finding the stuff is oh, only the first. Well, test. Oh well. Now it must be carried home. Might have gotten de-stressed down, but that is what it is. Alright. So looks like everything is just on this side there. Of course we step into a trap. There is one. Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Take that anti-venom. I think we'll probably be needing it. Paid for it. Not that I've been using them, but we'll probably be needing it. Ancient traps lie in wait. Ah, yeah, we'll use that. There's our next one. More talent, huh? Well, let's rip them a new one. That's a verse if I've heard one. Get the guy who's stealth, get the birdie. 
get one of these guys. Uh, we'll make sure he dies. Already dies on its next turn. Ouch. Okay. I guess we're just gonna, if it bleeds him, we're not really losing too much by having her in row two right now. Battle healed medicine before that gets too bad. He dies in two turns. We can make it one pretty soon. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Ugh. All right, let's make sure nothing happens to them. If it bleeds, there's them down, just leaving the Talon Flayer. Let's give them a good old whack. That's one big knife for someone who just wants money and, you know, exploring. We're gonna heal up, because they're gonna die on their turn. We're gonna get rid of the biggest bleed we can. Healing up. Probably should have used that last bandage, but that's fine. And whack. Talon feathers. Be wary. Those are actually Quint worth a considerable amount, so let's get rid of the jade. Firewood. Jade. Keep. A moment of respite. Heal. <laughs> Alright. Gonna battle trance her so she does more damage. And what all can I do here? No one has the disease, correct? Alright. We do not have a nighttime ambush, but we can lash Solus for him for now. We're then going to sharpen spear, and we're going to trinket scrounge, which was pretty worthless. But we can still sell it for more than that, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna rest, because who knows where we're gonna get from that. The path is clear. Watch this be a mimic. It can't be a mimic because we can use these. I'm gonna go up because I don't know what I'm gonna miss. I forgot to move her back. <laughs> Alright, well, we need to uh, get rid of these guys pretty quickly. Oh, that's a different birdie. Alright, we're going to... He has three out of six, so he has two turns left. I'm still gonna go for him. He dies on his turn. And then two turns for this one. Well, that's not much of a hostage situation anymore. Unnerved. Unbalanced. We're then going to Reign of Sorrows, these ones can be carrion, vulture thing. Vulture is not going to live much longer. Not going to hit him at all, so we're going to Battlefield Medicine, healing up. He's down, that's good. Can't use Iron Swan like I wanted to, but we can't if it bleeds, so that is what we needed. I thought these were the guys that did the um, hostage situation, not her. So now I know that. And a fortifying vapors to heal up. Let's go. Honestly, them, because they're not doing too hot. She's gonna heal us, stress heal us rather, which is amazing. And then, money, money, money. So too will What do I want to get rid of? Honestly, we only have one bandage left. Let's just eat whatever we get, because the Plague Doctor can. I didn't see this. <laughs> the Plague Doctor can eat. 
whatever we get with battlefield medicine. So having a bleed is not the worst. All right. Uh -huh. More goodies. And before I go too far, let's actually use some of this because we have so much food. Not sure what's ahead, but I don't have the best feeling. Use our last B. What is with the talent in this place? Sir, really? Alright, we're gonna blight these two. Or at least try to. Owie. Injury. Palpable fear. Best bring vapor so we can get a blight on another person. That's the one I did not want the hostage on. I'm guessing that Iron Swan would now just hit her instead of him. So let's, if it bleeds. Decimated. That's only two rounds, so we can do other things until then. So let's get rid of him. Actually, what I can do is heal with him, because he has a slightly better heal, because it's three over time rather than just like two or three. We can then use the Plague Doctor to take him out. And she can Fortifying Vapors. Of course there's a spike. Oh no. Well, that's not the greatest. <laughs> At least it's not damaging her through that. We're going to pass so we don't kill her. And then fortify. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Well, this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. Like, I really need him dead now. <laughs> does she die on her turn now, or does she... W what's going to happen? You complete imbecile. I mean, Remind at least nothing horrible happened. And we didn't get stressed down, but nothing horrible happened. Ten talent feathers. <laughs> well, that was certainly interesting. <laughs> Alright, there's that. That is quest complete and literally everywhere explored. And that is one heck of a payday. I can't math right now. That's 35,000. 18 deeds, which I think is more than enough than what we needed. Somehow we got a level 5 Anquinarian. However you want to pronounce that. A striker, which is crit with melee skills. And March by the Flock, which would explain what just happened in there. 
Uh, minus five accuracy, that is going away. And he also needs to be in treatment. <laughs> Sunshine in the thicket. Its way through the rotting boughs. Let us press on. All right, so first of all, actually, that's not where we need to go. And he will only flagellate, probably, won't he? Yep, okay. So he will do that. No one else seems to need anything. Let's check this really quick. Level 5 Grave Robber. Level 3 to those with a keen Abomination if we need it. Gleams like a dagger's point. This finishes off the Blacksmith with 44 Deeds of 49. And then... Oh, the wheel did not level up, so we do need one more there. However, we probably could get that by going into the Briar quest here, which I might have an idea for now. So I think I might do that next time and see how that goes. <laughs> and if that goes correctly, we will have our first, or is it now second um, boss there? veteran level stuff if not our first champion level boss i can't think right now so later i will see about maybe getting back into this but uh i still have to think about how to put a group together for that because i i know we're fighting undead in there so i want to put something like a either a very heavy just damaging group together or a blight group together to rip that stuff apart based on how it went last time I want to put that together a little bit more in my head before I go back there. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for now, and we will end it there. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.